In upcoming weeks, we'll discuss in more detail how catalysis works, but you already have a general understanding that catalysis speeds reactions up. And it's important for us to tie in a molecular orbital understanding of how this happens. The hydrolysis of an ester is the conversion of an ester to a carboxylic acid, and it can be catalyzed by either acid or base. Under neutral conditions, it involves the very slow reaction of esters with water. The key step in this reaction is the nucleophilic attack by water on the ester's carbonyl group. Let's look at the MOs for this step. The nucleophile uses its HOMO, here an sp3 hybridized lone pair on oxygen, to attack the LUMO of the electrophile, CO pi star. These are both reasonable orbitals to use, but the HOMO isn't exceptionally high energy, and the LUMO isn't exceptionally low energy, so it's a pretty slow reaction. The two orbitals are pretty far apart in energy. That's one of the key factors for determining the speed of a reaction. The closer in energy two interacting orbitals are, the easier and faster it is for them to interact. But what happens with acid catalysis? Do you remember the role of H plus? It protonates the carbonyl group, giving it a positive charge. And charge is one of the key factors that affects orbital energies. Positive charge lowers orbital energies, so by protonating the carbonyl group, we lower the energy of its CO pi star orbital, its LUMO, thereby making it much more electrophilic. Now the nucleophilic water doesn't have to work so hard to reach the LUMO, and the reaction can proceed more rapidly. So what about base catalysis? If base is present, its role is to deprotonate the nucleophile. Here, that means water is deprotonated to become hydroxide, OH-. The HOMO of OH- is still the sp3 lone pair, but now it has a negative charge. A negative charge raises the energy of orbitals, so now we've got an even higher energy HOMO and a stronger nucleophile. Again, because the frontier molecular orbitals are closer to each other in energy, the reaction proceeds more quickly. In general, acid catalysts work by lowering the energy of the electrophile's LUMO, making it more electrophilic. Base catalysts work by raising the energy of the nucleophile's HOMO, making it more nucleophilic.